That's it. Should be able to light a big fluorescent lamp with this thing. There we go. See, it's already burned it out. This thing's really cranking on those tubes. That's a brand new tube. Draw some sparks off those. Okay, so Eric is tuning up the Collins right now with the uh, tuning in it. In. Oh, you need to extend cords and get it plugged in. We're not on wireless electricity yet. <laughs> well, 5G will make that possible pretty soon. Yeah, very accurate. Set to 110. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Why do you use the variac into that? Just extra impedance. Okay. In case something flames out, it's got the fuse in it. Mm -hmm. Here's the rear axe turned off. No. We didn't need the key before, but we have this key problem with this thing. It's not like the light bulb. Does the key have to be in? Let's see. Well, it's resonating. It's funny. Not putting out anything. Dead. Try it with the key. No, it's uh, it's keyed. So I got RF. But it won't love. It's weird. It's like it's not connected to anything. Again. Oh, wire came off. Oh, okay. You guys screwed over there? Okay, so it's all connected now. up to a decent arc, that's the hard part. There we go. How great is it that we get to tell everybody how Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance? So you only pay for what you need. It's a good version. Just try to get get a recording of it. Okay, this is recording. I'll just let it.
Yeah, harpsichord, that's a good choice for this. Good. Because this one's kind of like tiny little high pitched sounds. Well, let's give that a try. Okay. So, where Eric was drawing the arc off the uh, tuning unit, the two outputs there, we're just going to hook up my uh, mobile phone uh, earbud output. Oh. This uh, coax cable here that I rigged up with a, a jack or a plug. So I don't know if it would like take it out of the case. I'll see it all the way. Okay, so I'll just plug that in, and that's going to the microphone in. I'm going to play Bach Contrapunctus 10. You sure it's playing? This har harpsichord. I'm going to start it right now. Okay. I have no way to monitor. Should be going. Yep. Look, look at that. Yeah, the tube. Look at the, look at the uh, waveform in the tube. Those striations. You can hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the music is coming out of the flame. Modulations blowing out the arc. Let me try to get this thing tuned up for a little bigger arc. Okay. Let the transmitter cool down. The, well, voltage, really the voltage isn't that high. It's it really current. heats up that wire, though. Uh, huh? Well, yeah, the voltage is only like 1,000 volts, but there's a lot of current. That's what's given the arc is the current, but the modulation blows the current out. And, of course, it'll be a lot bigger through the extra coil. Oh, it'd be, yeah, much bigger. There will be no problem hearing it. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. Try it one more time. Is Sean here? Not yet. Yep, yeah, I was going. Still going? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to rewind it. Yeah. Okay. up into tube. Heating the screw up red hot. We're going to burn the plastic. Well, when this current gets turned to voltage, it'll be a lot easier to hear. That's why I'm really waiting for those coils, because this connects to those two extra coils. This is the smaller ones to start with. Okay, so Eric wants to bake this transformer and get it up to temperature. Uh, basically, we have uh, the AC line coming through this bulb and then at the end of this cord um, with that bulb in series is a bridge we got uh, DC going to um, the leads on this uh, transformer 
and this is you know at room temperature in here which is about 72 yeah about 72 degrees 60, what's that rectifier made for in current uh, 25 amps I think okay so it won't heat up with half amp so I point out that the secondary of the transformer has to be short circuited when you do this so you don't get any inductive discharges okay yeah that bridge is only 80 85 degrees and so the uh, it's a secondary that shorted yeah so normally you do this with AC with the secondary shorted but um, we can't get a high enough voltage with this to do that okay so this is going into the uh, primary and then up here uh, these leads right here going to the back of the amp here are the uh, leads going to the secondary so these are just shorted out with a banana clip banana or a uh, alligator clip So that's actually the secondary there. This is the secondary? Yeah. Okay. So we're so shorting out the primary. So this will only heat up the secondary coil, where if you do this with with an AC voltage rather than the DC voltage, then it heats with the second or the primary shorted, it heats up both. But we can't, um, we can't do that. We need a higher frequency source than 60 cycles to do that. Okay. And these are the windings right here? Yeah. And so that's only about 64 degrees, 63, so this will take a little while. Take, that's going to take a long time for that thing to heat up. So we'll uh, come back later and uh, check it out. volts. Figure out the power. So 30 volt DC is going into the line, into the secondary. There's 30 volts into 55 ohms. So got a little spark gap to maintain the uh, nice arc there. Flame. It's hot. Is heating those wires up? Mm-hmm. I can see it traveling there. Yeah. Plug your phone in. Yeah, get some flute music. <laughs> see a Bach flute sonata. <laughs> That's what we used in uh, for the Colorado Springs demonstration. So even when you got the big flame like that will it do any any lower frequency or no, not really it's all high well stuff. it's a better you know the bigger it is the better yeah I don't know it's kind of experimental mm -hmm. I'm not going to make any claims about anything yeah okay so what did you say flute flute sonata Bach yeah flute sonata Bach Com Bach complete flute sonatas yeah mm -hmm. Something a little higher pitch. Move it up to while they're really around. getting into the flute, yeah. maybe.
That signal strength meter didn't work. I basically everything that guy got didn't work. That's why I got it. I had a whole warehouse full of stuff that didn't work. Shot in there. Hmm. Yeah. From here tomorrow for Saturday. Oh, today is today. Saturday. So I've heard a wild hard time to ask to focus. Oh, that's Max. This is a maximum modulation. Can't turn it up any higher. Where's the sound coming from it. other than the spark? This is oh the transformer. Oh the transformer is yeah. humming it? Yeah. That's not bad volume for such a low power unit though. Well it's a sixty watt amplifier. Yeah. Modulating. With proper modulation, it should have excellent fidelity. Here comes some police excitement to jam it out. Turn it off. The higher the pitch, the better. Piccolo or something like that. Okay. You got it? Yep. So we're going to try um, Bach Violin Sonata number one in G minor. This things move on me? No, no, okay. Oh, should be playing right now. <laughs> what a trap. No matter how many times you see it, it's... Uh-oh. I didn't short something out. There we go.
as wild. You can let this thing cool down because it's got oh, a... One sec. Watch out, we got high voltage here. I like high voltage. Nope. Oh. Let's get to see it with the, the light on. I can't see the terminals with the light off. The problem is, is that is the amplitude is not very Okay, so th this is some kind of cold mode. Jeff, this is a different one. Or a different mode of running it. So the coax is cold and the current is less, but the flame is bigger. <clears throat> you on? Yep. Working much better. Okay, I gotta let it cool off. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's about the maximum I want to cook the train.